Good luck. Yeah, this should be exciting. Um, so I know it looks like I've sent it, but oh my god. Uh, this is the thing I did not expect. This should be interesting. I've always been a bit curious about this. Um... But we're gonna stifle my curiosity for now and try to apply some of the destin uh, some of the advice that destiny had provided us earlier today. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I'm not faulting his advice, just my application of it or my ability to apply it. Uh, so one thing we had learned, is how critically important it is to activate my Rook in the opening. Um, so, rather than do the crazy thing of directly opposing on the center file that I was considering doing at the start of this game, I'm now considering just pushing third file and covering this square twice and getting the king out of dodge as quickly as possible. Um, so that's the plan. We're going to push this pawn and not forget to push it. No, sir, we're not going to forget to push this pawn. And even push it twice to prevent the whole Yagra thing, if possible. Um, there we go. We have asserted dominance. We're going to push the edge file pawn, although there are some risks involved there. It's going to be okay. Um, all right, we formed half Mino. Um, we have now protected the knights. Oh, this didn't need to be protected until this pawn disappears. I did an overly defensive move here. I could have pursued something more aggressively. For example, could have pushed directly on the third file. Um, which would have been a smart thing to do. Um, and still is, frankly. Okay, we are going to get this pawn in hand, even if somehow tactically it fails. We need that pawn in hand before shit hits the fan. Because it's going to get real. There we go. Sorry, we have the pawn in hand. Our opponent threatens our vulnerable center square. Um, boy, this has my curiosity. What's the best way to defend this? I mean, this looks like a fully reasonable way to defend my center. Um, 
if I capture or if Silver takes, I do another pawn drop and we're off to the races. Um, they might be looking at sacrificing the bishop for two. If I do pawn 5-5 five, five right now, that's Nifu, so we can't do that. Um, however, if they recapture, yeah, then I can pawn 5-5. Five, five. And this is kind of awkward for them, honestly. So they have one, two, three pieces attacking the square that I've twice defended. Um, if I had more pawns, I could consider something more aggressive. I'd have to have three to win the silver outright. I only have two. So we're going to play this, and this um, threatens to just take the silver directly. Which they're not going to give me for free. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but um, yeah, if they pawn drop to win my gold, I could sidestep that. So, yeah, we've cut off the silver from its support. Where does my rook belong? Does it really... I can't put it in the path of this bishop. That's too crazy. Um... Oh, if I pull it over this way, this bishop hits it directly. <sighs> this is complicated. Wait, now if I bring it back this way, their silver is going to pursue it somehow. Well, it takes time. If I push my rook up a square, pieces moving upward tend to be more free than pieces going the other direction. Um, I 
Yeah, so this seems ironically like the safest place to stick my rook. Um, what a crazy opening maneuver. All right, so they're threatening a promotion. Um, it's not an idle threat, but it's a slow threat. When in doubt, I should play stable moves. Stable move here would be to break, get my king away from this bishop check idea. Okay. They've opened the file for me again. This feels like a wasted move, but, oh my gosh, what is this? This is an attempt for them to win material. Um... I'm not so convinced. Are not so easily convinced that this actually wins material. So I'm going to retreat for now. So I've got a bishop or a piece. And if Tokian takes here, then I have this drop. Actually, I missed one thing. The thing I missed was that they could drop right here with initiative. Um, but that's kind of resolved by now. Uh, 
so they have two attackers on this square. And my attack would go better if I had different pieces. I need to activate all of my pieces, which is not going to be such an easy thing to do. I am so tempted to Nifu, like, every single move this game. It's terrible. I need to do better. Okay, we're going to jettison this so I reduce my chance of Nifu, but also so my bishop can see the light of day. But the third point is this tricky move, this guy right here. I mean, as imposing as the pawn looked on the center square, um, all these open lines that result are worth the pawn easily. Right. And so even after this, which I think is best, um, I still get one hell of a lot of play for this interesting position. I mean, I know this looks insane, but there is a point. The point is I want to activate my pieces, no matter the cost. I say that now. I mean, the cost will matter at some point, but at this point I can't read out everything, so I'm just going to assume that whatever cost I'm paying is worth it. Because I'm almost in Bioyomi anyway.
So we have this most delicate dance going on. Where, yeah, he's going to get some material back. And I'm going to try to contain just how much I return to him. Interesting. I didn't think my opponent would make this offer. Oh, I should have played the freaking pawn drop to stop this mess. It's too late now. It's clear what the opponent's intent is. Um... How about I just say no to getting murdered today? Yeah. Oh, this is not ideal. Yeah, I needed to play another defensive move, and I didn't, and there's a very good chance that I'm giving up heavy... Yeah, no, that's the general you need to drop. Because <sighs> the freaking bishop... It's going to make this difficult to hold. Now, I could sacrifice the horse uh, to get their rook. Or I could be greedy and take this and then take that and get checked by the bishop or the rook. Well, the rook can't check me, but a bishop could. The bishop could cause a headache, but only a temporary one. My bishop has the square covered. Man, this game could have been easier if I just played a good defensive move. Which is not something I'm in the habit of doing, unfortunately. And it's something I need to develop as a habit. Panicking is not an option. Thankfully, I do get some initiative for this mess, but yuck. Um, that was a mistake on his part. That was a huge whiff. Because now I can force him to retreat.
40秒Yeah, he needed to play this rook to some other file. This forced retreat is going to be painful for him. Meanwhile, I'm just going to stack all of my generals in the center of the board. Things have not gone according to plan, <laughs> but we've adapted. We've done an okay job at adapting. We could have done better, we could have done worse. All right, the center pawn is the target. Yeah, I need to get better at trusting that my opponent's attacks have merit and trusting that I can defend against those meritorious attacks. Um, I think right now I lack the confidence that I can defend. So I just play tremendously aggressive to try to compensate. Um, and it doesn't always work. So I'm holding this gold just in case this check happens. Uh, well, I could put a pawn. I don't want to. Yeah, I could put a pawn there. They could use a silver to attack, and then I could defend it again with the gold or something if I had to. Um... It's just verifying, yes, my mic is on. This is good. Right, so I could gain a tempo by dropping my gold. But I think that gained tempo could lose me the war. So um, that's not a really good square for a gold. Instead, I need to interpose and just deal with these consequences.
which aren't many, frankly. If he attacks my silver, I could just bring up another silver to defend it, or I could place a gold to defend it. Um, or I could just take... Or bishop takes the center pawn is also possible. There's no mate there, but um, there's just quite a few possibilities. I mean, heck, retreating the silver a square is possible, but I wouldn't want to do that. I'd much rather bring the silver up to join the other one to participate in this party that's about to happen right next to their king. All right. Their bishop's trapped. I should just win the bishop. Now we're talking. Now this threat to win the bishop, I think, is going to result in them dropping their silver back here to rescue the bishop. Um, at which point I'd probably just take the silver and swallow my pride. Bishops are nice pieces, but, uh, well... Uh, giving up a silver and a knight for a bishop? I'm not really feeling it while my king is stranded like this. Really not feeling it. Uh, although, if their bishop takes here and then they put... Well, I have this pawn push to protect it already. I'm fine. So yeah, I can take the silver. Pawn drop to defend against the bishop attack. And I'm just up another general at that point. I say another, but it'd be actually the first general that I'm up. And then we get to try to win this game all over again. Okay. I could use one of those. Sanjugio there is some risk with this move. 
So basically I've just stranded my silver in the center of the board in the name of pursuing an attack. Um, oh, I forgot about this. All right. Do I just take this? Seems to me like I need to take this. We're taking it. I'm tired of this. Honestly, I'm anxious because I want to watch uh, Shogi Harbor play chess, which we'll get to after this in due time. Um, this is clever. All right. So if I take that, they can drop a piece or a pawn in front of my rook. And we go all the way back again. And If they put a piece there, though, like I'm threatening a pawn drop. Um, yeah, so we're going to execute on that and then go all the way back. And when I say all the way back, I don't really mean it because of some dumb bishop tactic that they have. Instead, we'll retreat far this far back so as not to allow a uh, bishop drop and promotion right in the middle of my camp. All right. So if they're crazy enough to push the center pawn, crazy tactics might explode. Um, all right, they attack on this diagonal. Not sure I understand. What is this attacking? Oh, I see. Very well, we will keep the bishop out and away yet again. Um... He's threatening this silver drop up there. All right. Yeah, as anticipated, there it is. Um, There's so many squares I'd love to put my pieces on. So I'm curious if his bishop is going to try to defend his king. Or if he's going to just save the bishop and give up the king. Um, it might not be so stark as I paint it, but I think if the bishop runs the other way, we have some complications. Apparently, I've missed something.
50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6。Okay, so he takes a lance. I'm concerned. I did not think this would occur. How many times is he going to sacrifice pieces? It must be effective if he can do it this many times and survive. <sighs> so, what am I supposed to play here? I understand this is tremendously irregular, but we're going to stick a gold in front of a pawn in the center of the board, which is going to result in some material loss. but should also give me a temporary attack. Right, so now he's encased his rook yet again. Shogi is weird. Figuring out who's attacking and who's defending is such an exercise.
30秒Could have just done the night drop. What the fuck was I thinking? <sighs> was I thinking? I don't know. I stressed out. Um, I mean, I haven't played too many of these crazy, extraordinary, like everything is hanging Sunday positions. Yo. So maybe I can forgive myself for misreading one. Um. We'll find out in due time just how good I am at forgiving myself. Oh, I looked at so many other variations. I didn't even see this. Okay. Well, pretty much everything trivially, everything other than this trivially loses. So we're going to play this. Amazing. I didn't think this would happen. Um, Maybe I've hallucinated very badly here. Maybe not. Sanjigyo. 
30秒40秒50秒30秒。Yeah, it looks very likely that I have hallucinated. <sighs> Don't know. So I guess next I have this knight check. And hope that the king doesn't escape too far. But it looks hopeless. Like, my checks very quickly run out. Oh my goodness. Well. A uh, good game. That was a way for the game to end. Oh, good game, wow. Alright. Uh, what a roller coaster, eh? I, I don't know what to say. Um, I think at the, uh, uh, let's see. I am unsure. I think I am lost. Because, I mean, yeah. Shaman points out this, but... I don't think it quite works. And if this doesn't work, I mean, what could I possibly have? Uh, okay, fine, let's put that on the board, but I'm really not seeing it. Um, Maybe earlier I did have something. End games are challenging. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. In the final position, I agree. Likely earlier, it also does not work. Uh, um, so, yeah, I don't believe in my attack. I mean, there's really not a whole lot I can do here.
Yeah, I just don't see any way that this could result in a mate. We need four pieces in general for an attack to never run out. And I don't really have four here. I'm trying to get four, but it's definitely presently not four. And I don't see a way to increase my attacker count to four. I think the king just escapes no matter what I do. Okay, thanks for the game. Yeah, I mean, it was an adventure. I'm just, just disappointed that I thought I had a brilliant attack. Um, I mean, I say I thought that. I didn't fully believe that. So, he says he has to go. He says thanks for the game. I've been polite. Um, um, yeah, it could be interesting to analyze the full game at some point, but this endgame is super complicated. Yes, I agree. Um, I think that is true of Shogi in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If one player doesn't mate, the other player mates. That's usually the case. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's no way that I can escape the Sume, so I have to mate. But also, this is, like, not even close. I mean, it felt close when I initiated the attack. And the further I got into it, the more of a dumpster fire I realized my attack was. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just for a sake of argument, I'll agree. Um, so here I am just agreeing with everything he says. I'm willing to do my own little mini analysis if he goes. All right. Uh, good night. And I say good, a mini analysis because I don't really have the greatest notion of what happened this game either. Um, but, uh, yeah, this started... Well, I played an opening I don't play every game. Um, plus, I moved my king when maybe I didn't need to, but playing cautionary moves in the opening is probably not a terrible thing. Um, this was aggressive. I was proud of this move. Should I have been proud of this? If I pawn drop here, gold to, or silver takes, silver takes. Yeah, what was wrong with me just playing a normal move? Takes, takes, takes. Um, I don't have any tricks, do I? Takes, promote. So, yeah, this exchange could have happened. And maybe this exchange is good for me? Not sure. Uh, Central Fall Rook is complicated and merits further, or warrants further study. Um, yeah, my opponent did the sacrifice that a different opponent had done. I thought I was being clever by avoiding this fork. I thought wrong. Because, like, either way I'm giving some material... Um, uh, 
Maybe it was okay to avoid the fork. Maybe there was a better way about it. Yeah, this is stupid. Opening a line while I'm under fire like this. I did see that uh, if I tried to defend this, in addition to other problems, there's this problem. So I can't do that immediately. Um, maybe the center file push is not so bad. It does avoid Nifu. Um, I was mildly concerned about this, but the more I look at it, there's no reason for me to worry about this. And this is actually kind of nice for me, because these two silvers collide with each other. Um, which should slow their attack slightly. Um... Yeah, this whole opening just caught me super off guard. It shouldn't, but somehow it did. Um, yeah, I thought this was good. This forced them to move their rook, and here I blew it. Here, this would have made the game a lot easier. A lot of a lot easier. I just need to sometimes calm down and play a good defensive move. And then go back to attacking, you know, when it makes sense to go back to attack. Here, like, they had one obvious drop threat, and this deals with it. And, like, yes, they could put additional pieces on the fifth file, but... Um, at which point I can build initiative and do something about it. So that's one option. Another is something like this that I was looking at, and I saw they could interpose, so this doesn't work so well. Um, it did merit consideration. I considered it, and yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, maybe I should have just taken the rook. Oh wait, no, any fork ideas they have don't quite profit the way I imagined or hallucinated. So yeah, putting... well no, this would just run into a pawn drop. Actually, this might also run into a pawn drop. Something... oh, they can't do that. Never mind, just kidding. See, so, yeah, I'm fine. This is okay. And I'm threatening this, so... Yeah, I've got to just sometimes find good defensive moves and not get extremely surprised when my opponent tears my face off. Um, so when they did this, maybe I should have just rolled with it. What was I so afraid of? I don't understand what I was afraid of here. <sighs> I don't know. A chance at beating Llama on tiebreakers. Oh, timed out with the one position on board. Oh dear. Wow. I am so sorry. That was not my intent. Ah. <sighs> I was trying to play well. I was not trying to flag my opponent. I mean, yes, I was trying to use both the board and the clock to maximum advantage, but never did I want a timeout to happen. Um, like, I would rather win by playing moves on the board. I'm just not finding the right moves to do it. Ah, uh, I see. Wow. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Well, um, that said, I'm going to run this through Giku 
G-I-K-O-U to get an analysis of all the super complicated tactical stuff because I just don't get it. This pawn move was good and I just couldn't find a good... No, maybe I could find a good response and just refuse to. I don't know. Shogi's hard. I think that's what we've learned throughout these nine rounds. It's just that Shogi's really complicated, and the more you understand it, the more you realize that you don't understand it. So, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching all these games. Uh, this concludes my participation in the first tourney to Shodan. Um, good luck to all the remaining participants. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.